Praise ye the Lord. We're burning daylight. I had to take a little trip out here to the farm today and make sure that we have some corn in the feeders, uh, feeding these little animals that run around here in the woods. But I also like taking the bread of life and sharing it with you so that you and I can feed upon God's Word. Can you go with me this morning as we begin in our reading of Psalm, Psalm chapter 20, and together we read, May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. Wow. Wow, hallelujah. That just resonates with me today as we look at what's going on around us in our world. May the Lord answer you in the day of trouble. May the name of the God of Jacob defend you. May he send you help from the sanctuary and strengthen you out of Zion. May he remember all your offerings and accept your burnt sacrifice. And not to forget the word, Selah. May he grant you according to your heart's desires and fulfill all your purpose. He will rejoice in your salvation. And in the name of your, our God, we will set up our banners. May the Lord fulfill all your petitions. Do you have a petition this morning? Confidently bring it to the throne of the Lord Jesus. Now I know that the Lord saves his anointed. And he will answer him from his holy heaven with the saving strength of his right hand. Some trust in chariots and some in horses. But we will remember the name of our God. They have bowed down and fallen, but we have risen and stand upright. Hallelujah. Let's move over into the Gospel of John. And I want to read out of chapter 13 today uh, about the new commandment beginning in verse 31 of this chapter 13. So when we had gone out, Jesus said, Now the Son of Man is glorified, and God is glorified in him. If God is glorified in him, God will also glorify him in himself and glorify him immediately. Little children, I shall be with you a little, long, little while longer, and you will seek me. And as I said to the Jews, where I am going, you cannot come. So now I say to you, hear this, underline this, know this. A new commandment I give to you, that you love one another, that you love one another as I have loved you, that you also love one another. May I repeat that, and would you repeat that throughout this day? I have loved you, that you also love one another. But this all will know that you, by this you will all know that you are my disciples if you have love for one another. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Now Peter said to him, Lord, where are you going? Jesus answered him, where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me afterward. Peter said to him, Lord, why cannot I follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Jesus answered him, you will lay down your life for my sake. Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster shall not crow till you have denied me three times. Setting up for tomorrow's devotion. I take you into Revelation, and we're going to read chapter 21 together. All things made new. Verse 1 of this chapter says, Now I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth had passed away, also there was no more sea. Then I, John, saw the holy city, New Jerusalem, coming down from out of heaven from God, prepared as a bride adorned for her husband. And I heard a loud voice from heaven saying, Behold, the tabernacle of God is with men, and he will dwell with them, and they shall be his people. God himself will be with them and be their God. And God will wipe away every tear from their eyes. There shall be no more death nor sorrow, nor crying, and there shall be no more pain, for the former things have passed away. Then he who sat on the throne said, Behold, I make all things new. And he said to me, Write, for these words are true and faithful. And he said to me, It is done. I am the Alpha and the Omega, the beginning and the end. I will give of the fountain of the water of life freely to him who thirst. He who overcomes shall inherit all things. Now, I'm going to read that line again. That is right out of the word. It is the word. Hear it today clearly. He who overcomes, he who overcomes shall inherit all things. And I will be his God and he shall be my son. But the cowardly, but the cowardly, unbelieving, 
abominable, murderers, sexually immoral, sorcerers, idolaters, and all liars shall have their part in the lake which burns with fire and brimstone, which is the second death. Will you endure? Will you be an overcomer of the Lord Jesus Christ? We go to our reading today. Our, our devotion is called Healing, Healed by Striking. Healed by Striking. We are not the first to promise to live dead, and we are not the first to fail. Peter promised the Lord, I will lay down my life for your sake. We read that in chapter 13, verse 37. Moments before denying Jesus three times, all who attempt to live the crucified life fail many times. Maybe you need to hear that today. Some of you need to remind yourselves that you're not perfect. All who attempt to live the crucified life fail many times. To live dead is to keep crawling back on the altar every time you fall off. Mm. Jesus graciously restored Peter, and he will graciously restore us. All things will be made new. Revelation 21.5 declares even our dedication. When we commit to follow Jesus radically and we fail, we are sorely tempted to stop trying. Jesus is honored when we fall and rise to try again. I believe today this is a word to someone to rise and try again. He is delighted to fulfill our petitions and to answer us in the day of our trouble. Psalm 21 simply declares, we just do not accept him to help us by striking us. In Isaiah 19, the Lord promised to send a Savior to Egypt and Sudan. God promised that he would be known in Egypt. Immediately after the promises to these now Muslim nations, to the text says, and the Lord will strike Egypt. He will strike and heal it, verse 22. This was right before God said, Blessed is Egypt, my people, verse 25. God means, God's means of helping people, of, of revealing himself, includes striking them so that they will turn to him and be healed. Surrounded by examples of abuse and poor falsehoods, something in us recalls at the thought of being struck by the Heavenly Father for many of us, beatings, whether physical or emotional, be not to not draw us closer to the abuser and lead to any kind of healing. We respond to striking by recoiling into a defensive posture. God strikes to get our attention. God strikes to get our attention. Jesus struck Peter with one glance and Peter wept. Out of that shame and sorrow, he received restoration and healing. The severity of God's strike depends on the thickness of our skulls and our spirits. Not speaking to anyone in particular. Most likely speaking to myself. When we are soft toward him, all he needs to do is to look at us to get our attention. Hallelujah. I pray that I am as soft as I've ever been. Speak, Holy Spirit, for I am listening today. When we are disobedient, sometimes he has to whack us upside the head with a club of grace. The intention is the same, to turn our attention to him so he can remove the sin, pride, error, or falsehood, and bring healing. It should not just surprise you that the direct result of promising Jesus to live dead is your failure to do so. When we commit to follow Jesus sacrificially, all hell breaks out against us and our flesh joins the uprising. We fail numerous times and we succeed in part and grow a pompous spirit. God in His mercy strikes us and gains our attention, then lovingly heals and sets us free. Let us pray as we end. Lord, I pray that today, that it's not by might nor by power, but by Your Spirit, that we are softened to be uh, attentive to Your nudge, Your voice, Your call to us as we surrender, sacrifice, and Lord, just sacrificially, Lord God, give of ourselves to you daily. I pray that you speak into our lives today and that we live without sin and that we live without that which hinders our path into eternal glory, the presence that we will experience throughout eternity. I pray that we are today 
tenderly calling upon you. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. We're burning daylight. Pastor Bobby, we'll see you tomorrow.